In this video I will only show how you can uh, change the pivot point and the lock, uh, location, rotation and scaling of a mesh permanently. So for this demonstration I use a uh, multi-room named uh, the multi-story dungeons as it said and here we can see the pivot of the mesh. You can also use this in our preview and go to show show pivot and you will see here is the pivot. But for this mesh I want to change the pivot to the center of the floor mesh. Wait, I use this. Exact. I set it to 0, 0, 0 with this little button and we delete this floor mesh, we don't, we don't need it. And then I move this to the right location. It's no, before we must also move to zero and then we change it to this location. Yeah, and um, also a problem is if we open this again, we can see pers perspective to front. It's not front, it's uh, from the side. And we also want change the rotation. So, back, rotation to exact and Yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah, so yeah, so it's it's always on this um, yeah this gap. Now I want to move this pivot point and the rotation of this mesh or want I want to change it permanently. How can I do that? So first you need to go to tools, merge actors, and here it's a very important option. Pivot point at zero. Yes. We use this and then this mesh must be active. Merge actors. And then you see I have still some actors. We can give them a new name. It's in the in the root folder, which is not the best place, but this is only a demonstration. So we save it. And if I open this, oh, so. First, we check the front. Now it's in the front. And the next is we check the pivot point. Show pivot. And now the pivot point is now in the location that I want. So I go to the level. I can delete this mesh and move this mesh. I reset it to 0, 0, 0. And it has now the right location and the right rotation. So you can do this with every mesh and um, you can also change the scale. It works also like before, you only need to change the scale here on the level and make the same process. Go to Merge Actors, create a new actor with the button and you have a new changed actor. And this actor is is this pivot and this rotation is changed permanently. So you can also export in this mesh and we can also see there are the collision is still existing. So we have still the collision of the same mesh, we have same, still the same materials and it works perfectly and it's really quick and you don't need Blender, Maya or whatever 3D Max also, you only need 
change this in the editor with the merge tool. The same work also in Unreal Engine 4. So this is uh, the asset set which I use for this. And in Unreal Engine 4, yeah, this is uh, not the right level, but here you can find the tool in Windows, Developer Tools, and here is Merge Actors. It's almost the same. You have here uh, the options. This is a little bit different. <clears throat> here you have this pivot point at zero option, which is um, very important. And yes, so you can change your your mesh also in Unreal Engine 4. It works in the same. The workflow is the same. Also very important, it always change the pivot to zero, zero. So it makes sense if you're creating a new level for this. So you have a clean level, you can change only the meshes in this level and then you finish. Okay, thanks for watching.